So let's jump over to our man, Teddy Kegstad. Folks, we talk to Teddy every Wednesday at 40 past the hour. You can read Teddy's Tiger Forex report. Every Monday, he puts that out. Check it out, folks. TFNN.com. Head on over to TFNN.com. You head on over to the Newsletters tab. I'm going to pull it up real quick. You head on over to the Tiger Forex report. You'll see it on the bottom right, $97. And, folks, if you haven't checked it out, it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Sign up for it while we talk to our man, Teddy Kegstad, and you'll be in action by the time we're done with this interview. Teddy, we got some action today in currencies as usual. Good morning. Good morning. What would you uh, like to talk about first? I have a, I have a trade in the yen uh, setting up for you if you want to talk about that. Let's do it, man. We know we got a lot of listeners that like talking about the yen. What are we looking at for the yen? Okay, so um, for those of you that are the classical bar chartists, we have kind of a bull flag situation coming up. And uh, for if you're a candlestick trader, um, which I wrote a book on and I'm bringing the candlesticks, we have a continuation pattern that's forming. Now, it hasn't completed itself, but it is forming. So now Friday, we had a big surge in the dollar. OK, now when you have a big rally in this situation, OK, and then you have where uh, Monday and Tuesday and now today you have slightly lower trading days. Ideally, it's a three-day um, pullback, you know, where you have kind of a consolidation, a little bit of testing support. The key is tomorrow. So if we basically settle where we're at today, right now, um, where we're trading at right now, or maybe even a little bit lower, as long as we don't take out the opening from Friday, and I don't see us having a big, big trading date range today to begin with. Um, and if we have a big reversal to the upside tomorrow, um, that would complete the following three methods trading pattern, which means that's a continuation pattern, which means that the US dollar yen probably has a good chance at if this pattern completes itself. Now, key word is complete <laughs> itself. If it does that tomorrow, then Friday into next week, you could probably see the yen trading probably every bit of two to three handles higher than where it is right now. Nice. And you're looking at those on a daily for those candles? Yes, on a daily cool. basis. That's so if you if you look at it from Friday, you'll see how there was a big bullish surge. Monday and Tuesday were kind of relatively quiet trading days, but lower. And today we are doing the same. And ideally, it's yep. a three-day pattern when you pull back off of a move like Friday. But it can be two to five. And the thing is, the, the candlestick pattern is really, if you put it into a, a bar chart, instead of using the regular candlesticks and you put it into a regular classical bar charting pattern, it would pre look exactly like a bull flag situation setting up. It's a very similar type of pattern. Nice. Yeah, and there's, there's, there's I, see, I feel like I'm seeing headlines every single day, and I know I'm not every day, but in terms of the yen, in terms of mm -hmm. the new governor over there, in terms of the volatility that you could see, quite a runoff one-on-one, -on -one, but it is interesting in terms of how volatile, and it seems like the headline's somewhat conflicting in terms of where things are going to go as he steps in. Sure. Um, where do you want to go next? We have some inflation in Germany, of course. You have some action going on with the euro, with the dollar. You want to jump around mm -hmm. there? Okay, sure. Um, well, as far as the dollar index, now, it, those that read the Tiger Forex report, <laughs> if you read it on Monday, I was calling for a lot of sideways action. And for the most part, that's what we're seeing this week. Now, we do have a surge in the euro US dollar and ironically, New Zealand dollar US dollar today. But overall, markets are very choppy and sideways. You know, the euro, which is the biggest weight in the, in the dollar index, obviously is driving the dollar index today, you know. And I think that you have this inflation number. This is something we've been talking about for, you know, ad nauseum now for months about how the German economy is, you know, crippled and how things are definitely escalating in a negative way. You know, so inflation running at 7 percent, that is not good for for the EU at all. You know, so. I think yeah. that you're going to see e the ECB remaining hawkish, you know, so but they can't be as aggressive as we have been, you know, like, I mean, and now the fact that we're looking at our Fed not leaning back, you know, like, you know, where they're going to basically probably keep on doing quarter point raises for a, quite some time now, you know, I mean, in the future, that means it kind of negates a lot of what they're going to do, you know, so I think that what you're seeing today is a spike with the euro US dollar, I would be very cautious if you're a long, you know, I keep your stops tight, you know, and I would I think it's a sell rally forecast right now for that for that market. It's nice. a great take, man. Uh, it's going to be so cool just even as traders to see where it plays out because, boy, you talk about not mission impossible. But, yeah, I mean, they're dealing with their woes. We're dealing with ours. And they're saying, man, just, uh, I can't believe Powell's going to go back at it. Why didn't the U.S. get their inflation under control, right? Because that gives a headache everywhere as Powell just ramps it up on those mm -hmm. economies and, and on their pursuit to tame inflation. Um, where do you want to go next? You talked about some of the other equity um, forex pairings. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, well, I would say like one of the key things to watch out right now is to, or to be careful with is like, for instance, like the U.S. dollar Swiss. That is chop suey. I think it's going to be I think you have a good chance to get a nice rally to the upside. Um, I would be very cautious, though, you know, because I think that any big move you have to the upside is going to be a sell rally forecast for that currency. I think. But right now it's going to be a very tough trade on a daily basis. So unless you're really focused on that currency and know it well, I would stay away from it. Um, I think that you're going to see most of your action in the euro, U.S. dollar, the pound. I think also right now it's consolidating. I think you're going to see a move there as well, you know, I, especially because if these inflation numbers are hitting the EU, you know, what happens to the EU happens to the UK as well, predominantly, you know. So and I think that you're going to probably see some knee jerk reactions with that as well. I would expect to see some volatil volatility kicking up, um, but I would be cautious as far as direction. You know, we have a situation where like, for instance, like the US dollar, Canadian dollar, that's been in a wide range trade for months, you know. It had a surge last week. Now it's kind of flattening out, you know. So I think that we're coming into, I mean, I hate to say it, but I think we're coming into a very directionless market for the next, like, probably three to four months for most currencies, you know. Whereas, you know, the currencies luckily trend 70% of the time, 30% of the times they consolidate. Well, now I think we're coming into that 30% phase. So I'd be very cautious with trend moves, you know. I would pick your points, you know, like in your targets, keep them kind of tight, you know, and your, and your expectations as well. You know, I wouldn't expect expect to see any radical moves in any of the currencies and as far as on a trend basis. Nice. And for those listeners, I know we got a question in the Tiger's Den just asking okay. that. I know you've talked about it before, but your book um, on candlesticks, what's the title of that and where can people find that if they want to? Uh, it's High Probable Japanese Candlestick Patterns. So and they can get it on Amazon. It's in Kindle and paperback versions. So And it's uh, in full color, too, also. So like examples like the following three methods, like I was discussing about the U.S. dollar yen. That's in, There's a chapter on continuation patterns, and it discusses how to trade it and how to you know evaluate that situation, too. Candlesticks are great, man. I hear you. So, folks, check it out and check out the Tiger Forex report, man. It's, it's so interesting, Teddy, just – how yields, central banks, currencies driving so much of the action. Um, and man, we got some volatility coming down the line, I think, in equity markets. Oh, we certainly for, do. For the foreseeable future. I, I was kind of chuckling just yesterday, the moves in both directions, man. Um, and as a technical trader, some of these levels, it's just bouncing right off areas of support and resistance. Well, Teddy, we appreciate the time as always, man. Have a great week, and we'll talk to you next Wednesday. Thanks, Tommy. Sounds good. Okay. Take care.